Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by today. So before I start um, sharing this haul with you from down a little, I have a little story to tell about this. I had ordered this quite a while ago. Uh, I think Donna had shipped it out on the 23rd or 24th of January, something like that. And when I checked the tracking, uh, in February, like the first part of February, the very end of January, because I hadn't received it yet, it had said that it was on its way to the next facility. Well, the last time I got that message, my mail was lost, and I never did recover it, or it was delivered empty or something like that. Something terrible happened, let's just put it that way. So I was so sad because, you know, a lot of the stuff that we get, you can't replace it. When you're dealing with vintage and, you know, junk journal supplies and things that people have bought at estate sales and, you know, that you've purchased, you can't replace that stuff. Or it would cost a lot to replace it if you tried. So, you know, when something happens in the mail, you get pretty upset about it, like sad, because um, it can't be replaced. Anyway, so I had messaged Donna and I told her you know that my concerns and you know she's really nice of course and is asking me to keep her posted and all that kind of thing and when it went on for a couple of days I'm like okay I'm gonna go ahead and file an in inquiry uh, for missing mail or package or whatever and you know ironically the day after I filed that it started to move and now here it is so I don't know why it was stuck I don't know where it was stuck <laughs> at this point I don't even care <laughs> I'm just happy that it's here and it's all in one piece the, the package was not messed up in any kind of way and I got them and when I tell you what they are you're gonna understand why I was so sad they were two two of her kits uh, a shabby chic kit and a vintage kit so um, let's get right into it the first thing I'm going to show you which is right here is the vintage kit so in it you got this piece of crochet and she had said that it was you know really old and it does have some staining on it which that doesn't bother me a bit we get that with vintage and we know that she did the best she could to uh, get out what she could so no big deal and actually I had got some more of this um, that I showed you guys not too long ago in another bundle there's this little piece of linen with a little and I just thought that might be a dog or something somebody's um, attempt at some embroidery this little piece I'll try not to take too long talking and stuff and just show you because there is a lot I may even have to do each kit separately because she puts so much in them so you get three of these this is what they look like there's three of those get a hold of it this is pretty little piece this is very delicate around the edges very pretty whoops and there are two of these that pretty everything is just so like delicate and pretty of course there are three of these pieces look like this three of these these are like a kind of square they're a little bit longer on one edge but very nice for pockets and there's this piece. Oh, this is a handkerchief with a embroidered edge or crocheted edge, whatever. Whichever. And this beautiful piece. I got another one of these in that other bundle that I got too. They're so pretty. And there's two of these crocheted pineapple type pieces. Oops. There's five of these. 
appliques. There's three of them. And they all came off the same dress, all of the next few pieces that I'm going to show you. They have like gold threading through them. There's two more of them. This applique. I think they're all, yeah, there's three of them. They're all the, they're all the same. Yeah. They all came off the same dress. Oops. There's these really cool pieces. I don't think I've ever seen any like this. I'll just show you one. There's three like that. And they have like a little bud right there. This is what it looks like on the other side where it's poking through. Three of those. And everything is like a coffee stained color. Very, very vintage. Love it. It's a really delicate piece of lace. And gorgeous. Gosh, I love that. And there's this piece. Again, she gives you so much to work with. Isn't that pretty? And there's this piece. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, can you guys imagine if this had been lost in the mail? What a tragedy. I don't know, it might be a little dramatic, but it seems tragic to me. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And this one. You see the, yeah, the background there. Isn't that pretty? And then there's this beautiful piece of lace. Quite a bit of that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love lace. I just love it. It's really funny too because I was not a huge fabric person even like a little over a year ago. I worked mostly in paper and mixed media and um you know, maybe like different fibers and stuff as far as like what you used in mixed media, but never to the extent that I am now in fabric. Like I am so in love with it. And because I don't really have a huge, huge stash yet, I'm still very much like, I gotta have it, gotta have it. Everything I see. Of course, you guys know how I am with the Indian fabric, but that's just self-explanatory all on its own. All you gotta do is look at it and know why I'm addicted to that. <laughs> Anyway, there's this little, uh, like, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's like fringy, but yet, I mean, not fringy, dangle. It's like a dangle trim, but it's got like, these little balls on the end of it. And it's kind of cool. Very different. And then here's some tassel trim. Put it down here so you can see it. That also came with that kit. And then we go on to the laces. I do think I'm going to do these kits separate be just because there is so much. That way it's not such a long video and I don't have to worry about it shutting off on me or whatever. So we have this really pretty gathered lace. There's this piece. And again, she gives you so much of stuff. She gives you a lot to work with. I probably don't have to brag down up to many of you guys because a lot of you already are getting her stuff now if you weren't already. And there's this piece. It's kind of a... I don't know what you call it. But you can see how it like goes up and down. Very pretty. I feel like I was telling you guys something. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway... I am excited that um, I'm going to be getting some new equipment soon. So I will be able to do lives. Yup, I said it. I'm going to jump into the live world. Gorgeous. Get that a little closer so you can see it. The camera will focus. And I will be able to do more tutorials and craft with me videos. 
a lot of exciting things will be happening this year when I get new equipment. Right now I'm using a borrowed laptop that still has Windows XP on it. So uploading videos and putting in all the information and stuff is quite tedious. I hope that's focusing and it's hard to tell way up there because I can't see that well. And the camera that I'm filming on is an old Sony that my sister-in-law gave me, which that was very nice of her to give it to me. And it worked great for a while, but as you hear me complain now, it doesn't stay charged very long. And I'll be in the middle of filming and it'll start switching um, which um, function it's on. And so, of course, that will stop me from filming right then and there. So that's quite annoying. So the first thing I'll be getting is the new laptop. So excited about that. And then shortly after that will be camera and uh, some other equipment for videotaping. So I'm pretty excited. It'll be uh, better quality and I'll be able to do more things and just pretty excited about that. So anyway, and then in the kit there's also all these little doily pieces to three of these, like a dark beige color. And three of these little pieces. Love those. And three of these. I think those are like the doilies I just showed in a previous video. Oh, I love these. Oh, these are so pretty and delicate. Aren't those gorgeous? Love those. You got three of those. I purchased some of these separately. I have a few of these on hand. Love these. Four of those. And oh, these are cute. Three of these. Like little flowers. Five of these. Five of these little spiders, that's what she calls them. Gosh, you get so much in these kits, don't you? That's why I always jump on them as soon as I find out she's having them because I already know you're going to get so much and there's so much you can do with them. Five of those, those are like a creamy yellow color. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about um, what's going to be coming in the new year. I hope you guys are too. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me thus far. I've been really surprised with the growth of this channel. And grateful, but surprised. Five of those. those. It's been kind of nice lately to actually be able to craft and have some things that I've made to show you guys because I'm sure for a while there you're probably starting to wonder does she just buy stuff or does she ever actually make anything? Because <laughs> when I'm working all the time like I was you know I did that seven months in a row and didn't even really get my summer break because um, that class goes um, in the summer too so I didn't have much time to craft and I work hard in my job and it's you know it can be physical a lot of days so there's five of those so you know my age <laughs> you're tired when you get home it's just the way of it so I don't always um feel like sitting down and, and crafting 
Although some days I probably should because if I don't, when I'm sitting down, I tend to just fall asleep even if I'm sitting up right on the couch. <laughs> That's happened many a time. Let me grab my little dish. Oh, where's my little dish? I don't know. I don't see it. Where do I have it buried at? Sorry, you guys. I should have been better prepared. I do not know where my little butterfly dish is. Probably buried and stuff on my other desk. But anyway, here's a strip of buttons off from a wedding dress. And these are all just a bunch of different size and color in the vintage color palette of flat back pearls so there's just a bunch of those so you can make flowers with the pieces that she gave you so that is everything in the vintage kit 35 dollars plus shipping and i just don't think um you could do much better than that i really don't i often think just between me and you guys that she could probably get more for a lot of her kits but I'm so so thankful that she keeps them so affordable so okay so that is the vintage kit and in the next video I will show you the shabby chic kit thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye